Well, we're over at uh, one of our other properties. We're picking up this truck. Um, my or our son is. He needs a new truck, and the truck prices are terrible right now. So he's taking the motor out of this one to put in a different, different truck. They're actually building a truck, I should say, from some uh, a different frame and pieces and parts, and uh, they're going to get it, you know, put together. But this one, I think he just needs the engine out of it, so. That's what we're working on right now. It has a fifth wheel sitting on it, on a skid, that we had just put up there to get it out of the way, and unfortunately, we don't have our skid steer or anything like that or grade all over here to take it off, so have to strap it down and take it with the truck and deal with it later. I'm sure we can find somewhere else to stick it at home. loaded up and chained down and all. got that fifth wheel strapped down pretty good too i'm taking back roads uh anytime i'm moving something even though i got that fifth wheel strapped down good uh, i still will take the back roads when i can avoid traffic if if i come up on a car coming my way i just slow down keep an eye on it you know make sure nothing's goofy's going on before they come past me because you never can tell we do our best that's for sure gotta be safe all right so we got it in the shop and the next step is to get the cab off. Um, it's much easier on these trucks to just go ahead and unhook everything from the truck and the engine transmission and just lift the cab off. You're, then you can stand right there, take the stuff apart, just so much easier. I bought this truck for parts. As you can see, I've been using parts. So I've used the hood, the fenders, the grill, the bumper, um, the bed's gone. The truck's like a 2012. It still smells new inside. It's a shame it was a parts truck, but it is what it is. We use the airbags, the lower balance cover. It's a power window, power lock truck. Um, I have another truck that needs... Um, ooh, that's stuck. Anyways, it needs the back seat. It needs this seat and the center console and all that kind of stuff. So we'll, uh, we'll be pilfering some more parts off of this thing for others. But for right now, we're just going to get the cab off. Get the motor out, motor transmission, and we'll set it up here and bring the other truck over. And this motor is going to go in it. I don't know if we're doing motor and transmission out of this truck, into that truck. I haven't decided. We'll see. Well, today we're headed out to pick up a, a truck bed for our son because he's going to be building one of um, JC's trucks um, for himself so that he doesn't have to go buy a truck right now because the prices are ridiculous. Yeah, he wants, he wants a four-wheel drive for cab diesel. Now I got a couple laying around. I have an F450 pickup truck version, but I don't have a bed for it. And I saw this bed come up on the marketplace yesterday. So I messaged the guy immediately. I didn't get any response. So I called him this morning, and they're a couple hours away from us. So I asked him to hold it until I can get out there to get it because you know it's a little bit of a drive so we're going to head out hopefully it's not as nice as what he says it is and um, pick it up and bring it home we got the little trailer behind us the little air brake trailer and the 4500 so hopefully it's as good as it says well we're here and we're loaded and quite quite as nice as he said it was but it'll do it's got a hole in the cross member right there but 
and a hole up in that one, up in the front. But, but what we need is better than what we had. It'll do for the price. Let's add I came with some extras. We'll talk about that later. Let's get out of here. All right, so we're pushing pause on the, the build for Brandon. Uh, I came across the truck for sale. I went ahead and bought it. I think it's a little more, uh, a little more suiting to him. Brandon, Brandon likes the, all the extra doodads and uh, trim features, you know, the, all the crap that I don't like. He likes all the sophisticated GPS and touchscreen and heated seats and all that stuff. I don't, but this truck has all that. Now, it has issues. That's that's why I bought it. It's reasonable, but um, we're going to go down and pick it up and see, see what it looks like. Then we'll get it back and make an assessment and see if we're going to build that truck instead of one of the ones I already have, or if it's just going to be a parts truck or something, something I'm just going to sell off. All right, so we got it off the off the roll back here, and we're doing some looking. And check it out. Looks like the exhaust has been on a diet, and it's possible that uh, under the hood may have had a diet as well. Uh, looks like we have some faulty connectors; they just won't stay plugged in. A couple over there too. All right, so the problem with this truck was it has an engine miss and it leaks diesel fuel so i did some looking you turn the key on and it leaks leaks diesel fuel pretty good we did some looking and if you can see let's see if i can get a look in here right here is the injector that's the first the front injector right there and let's see if i can zoom in there a little bit oh yeah just can't focus there we go okay so that's the injector right there you see how far down in there and you can see the the hold down bolt right there it's a torx head okay so that holds the injector in place well here's the next one and you see the difference you can see how much higher this one is up it looks like the fork uh there's a the hold down for the injector is kind of like a fork deal it looks like one of the ears of the fork has broken off and whether whether something happened in the cylinder that broke and that pushed it on the injector and broke the hold down um, I or if the hold down broke and just the compression of the engine running pushed it out I don't know um, we don't know if the injector coming out of here was you know what the cause was we just see the effects but when it did push out it broke the return line you can see this black right here you see that blue writing on that rubber line that is the return line on top of the injector and then goes from this injector down to the next one you can see it's broke this fuel line this metal line right here is bent as well uh, and it looks like the hold down over there is broken so hard to see anything in here so what we're going to do Brandon ordered a new line a new steel line a new return line set because it's one piece on the whole entire engine I think um, and a new hold down a new bolt so what we're going to do is we're going to pull this 
apart, make some room in here, pull that injector out, get a look at it and see if we have cylinder damage or if the hole down broke just out of fatigue or whatever the case was. Um, but that is a cylinder that's not firing, obviously. So <clears throat> we're gonna look into that, we're waiting on it. But uh, in the meantime, we'll give you a look at the truck. Um, the truck is a 2012, I think, if I remember right. Um, it's got higher miles on it, <clears throat> but uh, you know, he's just looking for a daily driver and something to occasionally tow his uh, side by side to West Virginia to ride. Um, we will be getting rid of um, all this garbage here, all this crappy nonsense wiring that somebody's bootlegged in there. Um, if he wants to keep those LED light bars, then we'll wire them up proper. Um, we can't do much with the engine yet. Uh, it is a F-350, it's a Lariat package. Um, it does have the touch, security touch buttons, the keyless entry. It's dirty, needs cleaned up. Um, retractable mirrors, power mirrors, memory set for the seats, power windows and locks. Um, tilt, telescoping, um, steering wheel. Power pedals, moves the pedals forward and back. Got some nice WeatherTech floor mats. Uh, this seat will, it's kind of worn, could use a cover. And I've done this before, you can either, you know, buy the, the seat bottom alone or you can buy the back and the seat so they, they both match in the wear. Um, steering wheel controls, it's got navigation, DVD, um, I don't even know what else. It's got heated and cooled seats, dual zone, um, upfitter switches, trailer brake controller, and diff lock. Pull this out, that's diff lock. Two wheel drive, four high, four low, and diff lock. Um, also has power sunroof, nice big console, lots of cup holders. And leather seats in the rear. I don't think anybody's ever sit back there, they're in pretty nice shape. Um, but really a pretty decent truck for the money. You know, I don't talk about money too much in trucks, but um, we're under 10000 in this truck. And in today's truck world, I think that's pretty good. I don't know if he's going to stick with these 18-inch tire or 18-inch wheels. This truck originally had 20s. Uh, 18s seem to be cheaper for me to get. I can get them wholesale, and I can get 18-inch uh, tires far cheaper than I can get 20s. But you can see it must have had aftermarket wheels on it, and... They decided to keep the aftermarket wheels and use these crappy uh, acorn tapered lug nuts to hold them on. Well, this should have been a flange washer, which that's okay. I have it. It's got a uh, uh, gooseneck mount in it and needs a bumper cover or a bumper, and I have one. Got an LED light back there. It's got a backup camera in here. Needs a buff, and it's pearl white. So I have a friend that does uh, paint work for us. He's buffed a couple trucks for us. And I'll just have him buff it out. But we, uh, we, have to, we have to figure out what's going on with the motor first. If, uh, if we're gonna pull that injector out, we'll do a compression test. We'll look at the injector. Um, if the injector is damaged, then more than likely something happened inside the motor. Um, if it's not damaged, then we're gonna um, make sure the O-rings are good, put it in there put it all back together and see if it fires on all cylinders. Um, we're gonna look at the oil, make sure we're not over full if we are. Um, we'll be careful about that and drain it, get some fresh clean diesel in it, and we'll go from there. If, if, it, uh, if it runs on all the cylinders and runs well, then we'll move forward with this. If not, then we will probably go back to pulling the motor out of that other one and then put it in here because this is, this is his type of truck with all the goodies, the doodads, the buttons, and all that crap, that's him. That's what he likes. So, that's that. We're at a standstill, waiting on those parts to come in. So when they come in, we'll get at it. So until then, um, we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.